As you know, interest rates have risen due to inflation, and we are starting to see the Utah housing prices soften. In this video, we will talk about six different ways to buy a house now and when in this roller coaster market. If you've been living in or around the Salt Lake area for the last couple of years, I'm sure you've noticed the rise in housing prices due to the high demand for housing. Now that we're seeing the rise in interest rates, we are also seeing a decline in some of the pricing throughout the state. Not all communities have been affected, but many have. We've seen sellers hurry to put their homes on the market before the end of summer, causing a huge influx in inventory upwards. We've needed this inventory growth and it has given buyers more choices for their future home at a better price than ever. I'm not a mortgage lender, but I can share with you some of the ways my buyers are purchasing homes in this market. Here are six tips on how to buy in a high interest rate roller coaster market. So here we go. Tip number one, since interest rates will be on a roller coaster ride going up and down over the next year, get off the ride and lock in your interest rate when you feel good about it. I'm here with Lori Lowry with Infinity Mortgage and she's gonna talk with you a little bit about how important it is to actually lock in your rate. It really is, Ryan. It's crazy, the environment that we're in right now. I've been doing this for a long time and I've never seen rates spike as quickly as they did this last time. But luckily with inflation slowing down a little bit, um, our rates have come back down. So that's what's really, really nice about uh, that but yes it's really important we can lock your rate without having a property and so in order and we can also if let's say we lock you for 60 days on a certain rate and rates get better right after you find a property we can actually roll you down renegotiate your rate and roll you down um, to a better rate so that's so awesome that's right. something that that when I was doing mortgages a long time ago, it's not something that we could do. We couldn't even lock without a property. So it's, it's fantastic the way that the market has moved and the industry has moved to help protect the buyers. So you've heard it from the expert, lock in your rate. Tip number two, you may be able to stack that locked interest rate with some other options. One of the best ways to purchase in this high rate environment is to negotiate seller paid closing cost as part of your transaction. With a less competitive seller's market, we are seeing more sellers willing to contribute to buyer's closing cost for closing and rate buy-down. I'm with Kim Hendry with Veritas Funding and she's going to explain the different types of buy-downs today. Yes, so these are really popular right now. We're seeing with these higher interest rates, people choosing to do buy-downs. Now there's two different types, so I wanna educate you on the options available. One is a permanent rate buy-down that one's going to permanently reduce the interest rate on your loan. So you're paying costs called discount points to buy down that rate permanently. The newest one and the one we're seeing used quite frequently now is called a temporary buy down. That buy down is going to take your note rate, which is your fixed note rate for the 30 year period. You're gonna pay a fee called a buy down fee. That fee is going to subsidize a lower payment for the first to third year of the loan so you can choose depending on what type of seller concessions you can get, whether you get it permanently, I mean, excuse me, temporarily bought down for one year, two years, or three years. Now, of course, a three-year buy-down is gonna cost more than a one-year. And with this buy-down, it can't be paid for by the buyer. It has to be funded by the seller or builder incentive. So that is kind of what will help determine which kind of buy-down you can get based on what you can negotiate with the seller. But it's amazing. If you did a three, one buy down, you three, two, one buy down, excuse me, you would have your note rate. And then the first year that interest rate would be 3% lower than what your current note rate is. So that will save you a lot of money that first year. The second year, it would go to 2% lower than your note rate. And the third year would be 1% lower. Mm -hmm. Then it would roll into that final fixed rate for the remainder of the, of the loan. Now, the benefit of this temporary buy-down is that we're thinking rates are gonna come down, you know, in the next one to two years. 
So people are utilizing this so they can get a more affordable payment and then refinance into a final fixed rate once those rates drop. What's that saying? Um, date the rate. <laughs> yes, it's marry. Buy the, I mean, marry the, the house. house. <laughs> date the rate. Exactly. Thanks so much, Cam. Thank you. It is important to work with a lender that can coach you on this option and future refinance. Keep in mind that loan programs can have limits to seller paid contributions. So make sure you talk with your lender about the specific options. Tip number three, sellers who want and need to sell may just offer to be the lender for you. This is called seller financing. You will probably go through some type of vetting process with the seller. Usually the seller will like a good down payment in this situation. So if you have a nice amount to invest, this may be another way to go in this market. Tip number four, over the past five years, we've seen historically low interest rates. With that said, you might be able to assume the seller's low interest if their loan was an FHA or VA loan. In this situation, you will assume their loan and bring money to the table for the difference. Here's an example of this scenario. The purchase price of the home is 500,000, but the assumable loan amount is 450,000. You will bring in $50,000 to the table for closing. Now there can be other fees included in this process, but wow, to be able to assume maybe a two or 3% loan is amazing. And believe it or not, some ARM loans are assumable too. Keep in mind that you will have to work directly with the seller's current lender for the loan assumption, and they can take longer to process. However, it is certainly an option to explore if the seller is willing. Tip number five, be ready to have your ducks in a row. Get your lender letter ready. Go the extra step and have your lender get you fully pre-approved in underwriting. I have lenders who can shorten your contract timeframes and increase your negotiating power by having your loan completely pre-approved in underwriting. One lender even offers a $5,000 guarantee to the seller if they were not able to close the borrower's loan, excluding any issues related to the property after it's pre-approved. This gives you peace of mind and offers the seller a shorter contract if needed and you the ability to negotiate better terms. Make sure to continue to be in contact with your lender after you are pre-qualified or pre-approved, especially if there are any changes to income, employment, or credit. Understand the process. Seek constant counsel from your lender. Look for houses that are already offering buy-downs or closing costs paid for the buyer by the seller. Look for homes that have been sitting on the market longer, whose sellers may be willing to work with you in some of the ways we've mentioned. Tip number six, work with a good real estate agent and lender who are going to put your best interest first. An experienced team can go a long way, even in an ever-changing market. Vet your prospects and make sure that you can work together in this process as it can be emotional and timely. An experienced team will help you get the best price and financing alternative for your situation. Here's a few things to think about in this market as well. Unlike the past, builders of new construction are now sitting on inventory and they are offering many incentives right in this current market. We are seeing a contingent to sell clause back in the real estate purchase contract. Sellers are more accepting to work with these buyers who need to sell their current home. Sellers know that they need to be more creative in this market. I'm seeing a balance in this market where buyers and sellers are working together to negotiate the best situation for both parties. This calm is so much better than the frustrating competitive market we have been seeing since 2020. I have some awesome lenders who would love to work with you. Click on the tab below to get information. I have worked with all of them numerous times and know that they will work hard for you from the beginning to the closing table. They are communicative and reliable. So reach out to them today and see how they can make one of my buying tips work best for you. So there you have it. Six tips to help you buy in this roller coaster market. Hopefully you're able to take something from this video to help you in your search for a perfect home. If you're watching this and thinking that you need to get your buying team together so you can be confident in your journey buying a home, then I would love to be that agent for you. My contact information is listed in the description box below 
as well as on my website, gotutahhouses.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my website and like it as well. Well, that's all for Ray on Salt Lake. Always be safe and home savvy.